Hi everybody! Good morning, happy race day. It is finally race day. I'm at the track in the motorhome in the back bathroom because I'm about to get my race suit on and I started getting blisters on my toes, on my left foot, my brake foot. So we stopped at CVS and my dad said this tape will work really good and help. So I'm gonna wrap my toes before I put my race suit on. I'm kind of like nervous that I'm gonna do it wrong. Cause I've never really done this before. All right, my toes are all taped up. Now it's time to get my race suit on. The tape definitely feels odd. Not uncomfortable, but just odd on my toes. I can feel that it's there, and I didn't think I was going to, but it will help keep the blisters down, so that's all that matters. I'm ready to go. Just making sure I'm recording. It's so bright out here. We are pre-grid before we get to like pit road and fully get in line. I'm pretty sure we're gonna go to pit road. I don't know. Maybe we start from here. I truly don't know. I don't remember. I feel like it's a little different than last year already, how everything's lined up. But we're starting at the tail end of the field. Um, we got DQ'd um, after qualifying. Our fuel didn't pass because we were using the fuel to shortly put it. You go to the fuel pumps here at the track and we got the wrong fuel out of the pump. And the fuel that we were running would probably, it, I think it's like for like, if I were to race this car in IMSA and things like that, that was that fuel. But in the Trans Am, they run a different fuel. So they DQ'd us, we have to start in the back, but the speed of my car isn't gonna change or anything like that. I'm confident in that. The fuel isn't gonna make a difference. But it kind of sucks because they split up the classes. They line you up how you qualify. So even if you're in my class and you qualified ahead of some of the SGTs or if the SGTs were slower than some of the GTs, we're split up. So the people in my class are um, a few cars in front of me um, and I have a few SGTs that I'll have to pass before I even get to the bumper of my class. But it's a long race. It's 45 laps or 75 minutes, whichever one comes first. So it's a long race and I'm excited, I'm ready. I'm ready for it, I'm ready to get in this car. It's gonna be tiring, it's gonna be a lot of work, but I love the Charlotte Robo. It's, it's really fun out there. All right, so we are going to pit road. We're gonna line up on pit road and grid there. We're about to pull up there right now. Like as we get closer and closer, I'm getting more and more nervous and more and more excited and like I don't even know what to say because I'm just so focused and trying to think about what I need to do so if my energy levels seem a little down it's because I'm like starting to slowly get into the zone of where I need to be at mentally so I can run my best race Now we're on the grid. <laughs> Good job. We won! We 
everyone in our class. We beat all the SGTs. Where'd we finish overall? P5. P5 overall! <laughs> <laughs> You're good. Seriously, P5, babe. Danielle's pictures. Would you guys like water? Today was amazing. You're shaking. I know. I'm exhausted. That was a long race. I'm exhausted. I'm gonna. Go celebrate with my family and my team, but after that, I'm definitely going to bed early. <laughs> nice, Natalie Decker, congratulations. Jonathan and Adam, we've got a huge celebration down here. I'm going to send it back to you guys. And then last year's SGT Pro Am winner, she was on the podium here last year. Now she's on the top step in the number 29. Let's hear it, Natalie Decker. Woo! Natalie Decker, I spoke to you right out of the car. You were shaking. You said that was so intense. How does it feel? It's so exhausting to drive these race cars, but it was so much fun. Thank you, Ave Motorsports. And I had a new sponsor on board this weekend, Plan Fuel. They're amazing. The car looks beautiful out there. And Trans Am, they're just so amazing to race with. I love coming here at Charlotte Motor Speedway in my backyard. And the Roval is such a great track. So thank you, everyone, so much. It feels so good to win this race this weekend. <laughs> Natalie Decker, ladies and gentlemen. Good job. Are you old enough for champagne? No! Natalie, are you old enough for champagne? No! She's not answering. Anybody can answer? Uh oh. Oh! Look at that! I guess it's legal if she's not drinking. Uh oh. Oh, I guess. Well. I cannot confirm nor deny. Natalie, are you, are you old enough to be drinking that? She says yes. Okay, good. Woo, almost a heart attack. Thank you for bringing out that Briggs home Porsche. So much fun. Will you be back with us next week? I got a lot of champagne in my eyes. Yeah, because you've got it on your mask here. Here we go. All right, look right up there at the top there, the photographers. Down the middle of Danny Lowry, let's hear it for him. Is it all over? I got champagne in my eyes. <laughs> Thank you. It burns. It burns more in the eyes than going down. Sorry, Natalie. Next time, sunglasses. Why are too expensive? They're prescription. Down the middle of Danny Lowry. I should have been drinking. Look at this. Good job. It was seriously the most physically hard race. I was getting exhausted out there. This track, with how much G, like side G forces you go through constantly, that was exhausting. But let me tell you, it was worth it to cross that finish line. It felt so good. So I don't know if you know this, but we were running up high in the corners because five cars in front of you blew. ran out of fuel or blew front rights. Blew right front tires. I knew that. My right front was not feeling good about halfway through the race. I looked at the tires pretty good. You could have kept that same pace. But we don't normally run roll holes.